Hi, this is Blaine Lang with Next Tide. We're a uh, Drupal consulting shop located in Burlington, Ontario, just outside Toronto. And we'll do anything Drupal, but uh, we have an area of expertise around business applications. And one of the uh, modules that we contributed to Drupal 7 uh, last year is Maestro, which is a workflow engine with a visual workflow editor and um, a back end uh, workflow engine for is capable of running and, and uh, executing very complex business workflows. And uh, just hit the project page here quickly to show you that there is some videos um, as well as um, on our main site we have a number of blog articles which um, give a number of in-depth um, tutorials on how to do things with Maestro including extending it um, so and, and, and various uh, examples on how to use it and explanation, explanatory uh, type of articles. Um, but what I want to cover off today is um, how we've uh, used a couple of other uh, modules, uh, specifically the, the latest relation module. This is a uh, work that uh, is being done, and uh, kudos to the developers on this uh, work that's being done in order to create a uh, relationships on the fly um, between other entities. And uh, specifically, I wanted to be able to create a relationship between a, a node entity, a user entity, and Maestro. And a uh, relation module is going to allow us to do this. And I'm going to show integration between a relation uh, module and rules to launch a Maestro workflow. So there's, there's a few things happening here. Um, over on our, my dev instance here, I've got I've just created some um, sample um, article content using the Develop Generate module. I've got some users generated using the Develop Generate and the uh, switch user block enabled, so we'll switch users. And the um, first thing we'll do is we'll just explore the modules that have been created, or not created, but installed. Um, with Maestro, we've got the base Maestro engine, and I'm using the current dev release as of, um, I guess, early no November. This is November 15th, uh, 2011, that I'm doing this uh, video. But um, the new latest dev instance of Maestro has integration with rules, um, allowing us to launch Maestro from within rules. Need the common functions, um, new task types, as well as um, some t the test patterns or test workflow patterns. We're going to use one of those test workflows to launch from uh, in this example. The relation module is enabled and it enables the endpoints field. Um, then with rules um, I need um, sorry something funky happened there. With rules um, I need the uh, rules module as well as rules link. Rules link is a great little module that's going to allow us to create a link attached it to the articles and launch the uh, workflow or launch rules um, right from the article. So let's get started. First thing we need to do is head over to structure and create a new relationship type. So add relation type. We're going to create a new, we're going to call it Maestro Relation. And it's going to be a relationship between all node bundles and all user bundles. So, although we're only going to need article in this example, um, selecting all says in the future that as I add other types of nodes, um, they will also be supported by this this uh, relation entity. So we'll save that and uh, because it's an entity um, and it's fieldable we can add new fields to it and we're going to add the process ID. So Maestro process ID of type integer and I'm just going to save the defaults here. A couple more screens and we're not going to save any defaults. I'm setting defaults. We're going to just save that. I now have the uh, relationship defined with a process ID field, and I want to set that. And by the end of this, we'll have um, the endpoints will hold the node um, entity, the user entity, and then I'll have a process ID. So we have a relationship between all three. So let's head over into rules, um, access that through the configuration rules link page. And we're going to create a new rules link. And we'll give it a name here. Launch Maestro. Good enough. And the label that I'm going to have for the link is um, Launch Workflow. And it's going to attach this link to node of type article. And I want to show the link. So save that. The link is created. Now we're going to need to create the rule associated with to add to that link. So here we go. Add a rule. And we just call this rule one. 
save that. Now we're going to be into standard rules functionality. We're going to create some new actions. And the first thing we're going to want to do is to launch the workflow. So this is new with the dev instance of Maestro. We have the rules integration to launch a workflow. It comes back and says, well, what, what, what Maestro workflow templates do you have? Well, we just need some base functionality right now. So we're just going to launch the an, an example workflow. And when Maestro launch, it's going to create a variable called process ID. And um, I'm going to want to reference that later on. So give it a good name so I can, I can use that. Now I have that action. Now the objective we're trying to do here is not only launch Maestro, but create a relationship as well between the node that I clicked on, the user that clicked it, and the process ID that comes back from here. So in order to create the new relation entity, I need the data. And um, I do that by first creating a variable to store this data um, in order to create a new entity. So I'm going to add a variable, and this is key. This is the, um, I need to create a variable of type list of entity items and uh, kudos to uh, Johan Falk over at Node 1. He has a, couple, a number of great video tutorials but one he just did recently on the relation module and uh, it explained how to do this part so um, couldn't have got that easy without uh, that video tutorial. Um, so I created this new variable of that type and um, I need to give it a name. Um, it's going to be a list of um, node and user uh, entities is what I'm going to use it for. So I'll give it that name. Now I need to add items to that list. I need to add the um, so add an item to the list. I want to know the node that I clicked on. So that's the list I'm going to add this item to. Um, and um, so the node that I clicked on, that entity, is going to get added to the end of this list. So that one's been added. Now I need to add the user entity that clicked it. So add an item to a list, that list, and site information, current user. That's good enough. And I'm going to add that to the end. All right, so now I've got what I need to create the new entity. Create a new entity. It is going to be of type relation. Continue. And it's going to ask me what, what relation. The new one I created, Maestro relation. And it's going to use these endpoints, the endpoints that I um, are stored in this new variable. And I'm going to use the uh, entity later on, so let's give it a name that I can um, I can reference. Okay. Now, what's missing is the process ID in that entity. Um, it's returned over here. It's called process ID, so the variable is there. I now need to set the, um, the field on that new relationship that I created. Set a data value. And what am I going to set? Well, I'm going to set... Um, so, it's the Maestro entity created. Um, colon. What uh, I want the process ID. So there's the field I want to set. What value do I want to set it to? Well, I've got the uh, process ID, that variable. Just to make sure I got the right one. You can see that process ID, there it is, process dash ID. Good enough. Oh, there it is. Okay. Save. Okay. This is the rule that we need. Let's go see this in work. Um, now, one thing I need to do is, because uh, I want other people to launch this, i got to go head over to Permissions and enable that link for non-admin people. Okay, uh, refresh. Rules, there we go. Rules link. Set it up for authenticated users. Save that. Now I think we're ready to demo this. Fingers crossed. Okay, first I'll just launch it. Uh, so here's what's new. We got this launch workflow link, and this is key because I want to be able to launch a Maestro workflow from some particular content type. It could be a, you know, a custom content type that we have on, on a special page, and I only want to launch it under certain conditions to provide this link. But um, this is just testing examples. There's lots that we can do. 
Um, but the fact that I've now got a link sitting somewhere um, on, by a node is really key. So I'm going to click on this. That should launch that workflow that I set up, and it's just a test workflow. I can just go over here and verify in the task console um, that it's been launched and just click it a couple times here to have the engine cycle through the uh, various tasks and it'll appear. There we go. So successful execution of that Maestro workflow process and I can see that uh, yeah, um, just expand it all. I can see task history. You know, there's successful ex execution of it. Okay. So um, let's just go back up here to the main page again and um, switch users. So I want to get a create, verify we got a couple records. So it's just a little slow here for a second. Come on back up to the home page. Okay, so switch users. All right, I'm now that user. Um, launch this workflow. And um, go ahead and switch another user. And launch a different workflow. And I'll come back in as admin now because I want to be able to see the relations that were created. And this is new under the uh, relation module. It adds a new tab over here called relations. And I should have three relations created. I do. And I've got three different nodes and three different users. And I can edit this, look at this relation, and I can see that it's got my endpoints, um, the user node, the, um, the actual article node, and the process ID and even I can edit it. So this is just default functionality inside Relations that's given us, which is really cool. But um, and I'll cover this in a future um, video, but uh, the beauty here now is that I can go into Views and create a, uh, a view linking nodes and users and process IDs and then use some of the Maestro Views integration to be able to link in some additional Maestro fields and do some custom things that I need to do inside Views. But, um, and there's more that I can do now with Rules and Maestro uh, specifically with process variables and then do some very complex functionality uh, processing inside Maestro workflows, but the ability to easily create a link here, um, launch it um, from rules, and then have a uh, relation module track the uh, relations between a number of these um, entities is really key. And, I, and uh, again, I applaud the, uh, the work that has been done by the, the dev team, both on the rules team as well as the relations uh, module team. So great work. Thanks very much. Hope you found that useful.